What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Daily Car Guy. I'm again using my mic today. I hope it's doing pretty good. I came out here on this sunny day because I wanted to show you my Volkswagen Golf from the outside and talk to you about some plans I have coming in the near future. First, let me show you a Golf, show you the brand new Pure 6 front lip that's on. It's looking so, so clean right now. I can't even describe it. It's looking so much better with that lower lip on it. So, are you ready guys? Okay. Nice, bright in the sun. Just look at that. Nice and low to the ground. Let's try to get a better shot out here. I'm so happy with the, how the car turned out. I still have a few things to do. As you know, the front pieces here. They didn't really work out, but I really want to make them work out. Because like this, the side, mm, not that good. On the back, it's looking pretty good. This side, yeah, it got a bit... Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to say that, but, well, yeah, I have a crack right here, so I need to be cutting that out again, filling it up again. The other side is okay, and another thing I don't really like, looking at the car from the back, because it just uh, it doesn't really translate nice on camera, but it's looking so high off the ground in the back. I don't really like that. I really, really don't like that. And that's something that always has bothered me. This car was lower than it is now. Even then, it bothered me how high it looked in the back. So I'm thinking about maybe building a custom diffuser for it, building it myself, making templates, making a chassis mount aluminum diffuser. So that's maybe something to come in the future. So. Go subscribe if you want to see that. For the interior, I also have a lot of plans. I really, really, really want to clean this thing up again. It's now just raw and bare MDF. And I really want to get the installation cleaned up so it looks nice again. There's another thing I wanted to come to you and talk about. And it's kind of me asking for help on deciding because I really really don't know what to do. I want to be getting a new daily. This Golf will be my weekend and special drive car. I don't know how to explain it. In Belgium we call it old timers. It is an old timer because it's over 25 years old and I really want to put it that way because it is a hassle every year to get it to RU MOT just with the new emission regulations and stuff. I really want to look into a new daily and I want it to be a rear wheel driven car. Now, I didn't want to go BMW. Don't ask me why, I just didn't want to go BMW. So then I had two cars uh, getting into my eye, which was the BRZ or the Toyota GT86 and a Porsche Cayman. Why? Because both cars well, I'm comparing the 2015 version of the BRZ with the 209-2010 version of the Porsche Cayman, price-wise. Those are both the years the car first problems went away. On the BRZ GT86, the 2013-14 were the two first years of production and they kind of had a few issues in them. And in the 2015 model, they have been resolved. The BRZ comes with 200 horsepower and 151 foot-pounds of torque. The Porsche comes with 265 horsepower and 200 and something foot-pounds of torque. I don't know the correct number anymore, but it's 211, I think. Price-wise, the newer BRZ is almost the same price as the Porsche Cayman. The Cayman has more horsepower and reading all reviews, the GT86 BRZ is lacking power. 
I know there's an aftermarket for that, but going to the aftermarket is also expensive. For the money I put into the BRZ, I could have gotten the Porsche. So I don't know about that. Now the Porsche has its name, has, has the logo, has the appearance. It's an eye catcher, whether it's a Cayman or a 911 GT3. It's a Porsche and that's eye catching. The 86 is kind of a normal car without getting into wide bodies and stuff. When you wide body them, they're really, really, really cool looking cars. But just looking at the base model, because throwing on a wide body is also really expensive, because you have to think about the wide body itself, bodywork, you need to either paint or wrap it. You need big, big wheels, big tires, and those aren't cheap. On the Porsche, I understand everything is a bit normalized on tire size, wheel sizes. So it's less expensive to do aftermarket stuff too. Sure, either of the cars I would get, I would work on myself. For the most part, they will be modified because that's what I do. I like working and modifying cars. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about either of these cars. Which one of the two would you choose and why? And why wouldn't you want to choose the other one? Also. On another note, I'm from Europe, so Porsche parts aren't necessarily that that more expensive. Just throwing that out there, so you can take that into account when writing your comment. But I really hope you guys, the viewers of this video, can really help me out in the comments below. Because I'm kind of stuck at this question for a while. That's why I'm sharing it with you now. With the internet, with YouTube, with the subscribers I have, where I am really grateful of. So that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the scenery and I hope there's not too much wind noise. Be sure to leave a like, drop that comment to help me out, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload and you can follow along with the process of me getting my new daily and all the plans I still have for this car. But for now, this will be it for this video. See you in the next one. I'm out.